Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares. Welcome back to the Fangoria Movie Challenge. Now this is the segment I've been doing with my good buddy Joe the Horror Man, where we're not only going to watch, but also review all 101 movies Fangoria thinks we should have seen. Today, we're going to be talking about Deep Rising. Deep Rising is a 1998 film, which runs approximately 106 minutes, and is written and directed by Stephen Summers. Now, he was responsible for Odd Thomas, Van Helsing, and The Mummy Remakes 1 and 2. This stars Treat Williams as John Finnegan. He was in The Phantom, Mask Maker, and 127 Hours. This also stars Famke Jensen as Trillian St. James. She was in X-Men 1 through 3, 100 Feet, and Golden Eye. And Anthony held as Simon Canton. He was in Red Dragon, Silence of the Lambs, and Alone. Now this was originally supposed to be called Tentacle. And the budget on this movie just amazed me. $45 million. Now, unfortunately, this only grossed a little over $11 million worldwide. So this was a major flop. Is it because of the film? No. It's basically because Titanic came out a month before or something and just annihilated everything in its path. Which is a shame. Yeah. All right, Deep Rising is a treat for me because I actually haven't seen this since the VHS days. And I remember liking it back then, although it had been so long, I didn't really remember much about it. I mean, it's probably been since 1999 that I've seen it. So, now in this story, you basically have two sets of characters. Kind of two things going on at the same time. Three, but eh, we'll narrow it down to two. You have a boat for hire, which is Treat Williams' boat. The captain, he's the captain, and he has two crew members. Now, he is basically hired with no questions asked. That's the thing about his boat. He's just a ship for hire, no questions asked. One of the crew members goes poking around in the cargo bay, and he finds a bunch of missiles to where the terrorists on board start to give him a hard time, and they have to overcome that situation. Now, the next group of characters is on a cruise liner ship that has just been built. Now, this ship is the life's work of the captain of that ship. I'm, actually, I don't know if he's the captain. I know he's the owner. And it was basically his life's work. And it's a state-of-the-art ship. Which, unfortunately, gets attacked by a sea monster. Now, you do have a side story, which is the uh, Trillian St. James story, which is Fonky Jensen. She is a thief who is breaking onto the boat in order to steal the gems in the safe or money or what have you. Of course, the boat with the missiles ends up where the cruise liner ship is and ultimately where the sea monster is. That's all I'm going to tell you about it. This is a fun, fun movie. Now, one of the things I noticed is that this uses a lot of CGI. Of course, it was 1998. CGI wasn't all that great at that point, but I will say, this movie holds up really, really well, and it's a ton of fun. One of the things I noticed was that it had a Predator vibe to me, with all the guns and the terrorists and just getting taken out one by one by the sea monster, which is an incredible looking sea monster. It's basically a like a prehistoric octopus, sort of. <laughs> Which is why it was originally going to be called Tentacles. But, 
there was a movie called Tentacles from the 70s that I actually really liked. That was a ripoff of Jaws, and I'm sure they didn't want to use it because of that film. Could be wrong. Who knows? Now, Joe and I had a great time with it. Actually, Joe saw this in the movie theaters, despite Titanic being in the theaters. And I would have loved to have seen this on the big screen. Now, I'm going to pair this up. I originally had thought about doing Deep Star 6, and I probably should have. But I want to do stuff that <clears throat> not many people have either heard of or seen. That's, that's my goal for the pairings. To get you guys to maybe watch something that you've either never heard of or never seen, which is kind of the whole point of this challenge. You know, there's 101 movies that you should have seen, but maybe haven't. I'm going to pair this up with Island Claws. This movie is a ton of fun. Granted, it's not the best movie in the world, but it's a lot of fun. It's about a genetically engineered crab that... Well, actually, it's about a bunch of crabs. But unfortunately, due to the budget of the film, only one big crab was made, and that's all you can basically see at one time. Um, I have done a review for this before, and I absolutely love this film. This is kind of like the science gone awry. They were trying to make the crabs bigger, and they made an oopsie. <laughs> so, but yeah, check out Deep Rising. It's a ton of fun. I do have the DVD, but I didn't pull it down. I actually never watched the DVD. I watched the um, Blu-ray of this, and the transfer is really good, although it is bare bones. I know that, uh, I think it's Kino Lorber, pretty sure. It's either Kino Lorber or Olive actually did a really good version of it. But this one's fine with me. Island Claws, it's not that easy to get. Um, I'm pretty sure Code Red did a Blu-ray of it. But I'm not sure if it's still in print. I highly doubt it. But I'm sure it'll come back around because Banana Bill always finds stuff somewhere, doesn't he? <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to check out Joe's review of Deep Rising. And if you like what you see in here, hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, peace.